What's good YouTube? Your friend is here and welcome back to another video. Today we're gonna be taking a look at the best workout split that you can follow. Nowadays there are a lot of workout splits and that can be a little bit confusing, but today I'll be showing you the best one for you. So sit back, relax and enjoy because without any further ado we're gonna jump straight into the video. So before anything else, the best workout split for you is the one that you can be consistent. Wait. And let me explain. It doesn't matter if you choose a workout split that has 5 workouts per week, but you can only go 3 times per week. Or a workout split that has 3 workouts per week, but you can only go once a week. You'll be not taking all the potential of those workout splits into you because you are constantly skipping workouts. The base factor for the best workout for you should be that workout split that you can go and be consistent with. If it has five workouts per week, you should be able to go to all those five workouts per week. If it only has three workouts per week, you should be go at least to these three workouts per week. You shouldn't be failing workout sessions. Because let's say that you only have the opportunity to go to the gym three times per week. Being that from not being able to go any more days for work or school or whatever, you can only go three times per week. You should choose a workout split that has three days per week, not like a workout split that has five days per week, because you'll be skipping two days every single week. And that's not optimal. So the first thing is being consistent. Choosing a workout split that you can be consistent with and you will not be skipping two or three workouts every single week. And there are a lot of workout splits that you can follow. You have, for example, a let's push-pull workout split, you have a full body workout split, an upper-lower workout split, a bro split, the most used split in the universe, but not the most optimal. But you get the point, there are a lot of workout splits out there for you, but you need to choose one that you can be consistent with. And let's take a look at why the bro split is not the most optimal workout split, even though it's the one that most people start with and keep doing years and years. The bro split is not the best workout split because it only allows you to train each muscle group once per week. You'll be eating chest on Monday, you'll be eating back on Tuesday, you'll be eating legs, sometimes on Wednesday, shoulders on Thursday and arms on Friday. And as you can see, you can only be eating each muscle group once per week. And why is this that bad? Because there are a lot of scientific literature and scientific studies that shows that training frequency is a key factor to muscle growth. And what does this mean? Basically, it means that training the same muscle group more than once a week will lead to greater gains in the long term. Basically, because if you train the same muscle group at least twice per week, you'll be experiencing more gains than you would be experienced if you only be training it once per week. So, training frequency is a key factor to muscle growth. There are not that much scientific literature to prove that training more than three times a week will lead to greater gains, but at least training each muscle group twice or three times per week will lead to greater gains than only training once per week. So instead of doing, for example, 10 sets of chest on Monday, you can be doing 5 sets of chest on Monday and another 5 sets of chest on Thursday. First of all, that will allow your muscles to recover much better because you'll be eating less volume each day but in the end of the week, we'll have the exact same volume. We'll have the same 10 sets of chest. So even though the volume is the same, having a higher frequency will be beneficial for you. You'll have more muscle gains through more frequency. And with this in mind, I can let you know what is the best workout split for you. Let's say that you can only go to the gym once per week. Here, of course, the frequency subject will not have an effect but you can still choose a best workout split for you. If you can only go once per week, the best solution for you is to do a full body workout because you'll be eating every single muscle group on that session. Week by week, you'll be eating every single muscle group 
again and again. So doing a full body workout will be the best option for you. What if you can go twice per week? Still, a full body workout would be the best workout for you. Why? Because the frequency factor. Because you'll be eating every single muscle group twice per week. You'll be doing, for example, a full body workout on Monday and another full body workout on Thursday or on Friday. And you'll be eating each muscle group twice per week, getting the most amount of gains possible. What if you can go three times per week? If you can go three times per week, still the best workout split for you would be a full body split. Because you'll be eating every single muscle group three times per week. And you can go Monday, Wednesday and Friday for example and you have a rest day between each workout. What if you can go four times a week? If you can go four times a week, that's when the workout split will change. If you can go four times a week, it will be more beneficial for you that you do an upper, lower, upper, lower. And what's that? Basically, you'll be doing an upper body workout on Monday, for example, training back, chest, shoulders, biceps, triceps, basically everything that is on your upper body. And you'll be doing a lower body on Tuesday, doing quads, hamstring, glutes, calves, and then you'll take a day out on Wednesday, a rest day. And then on Thursday, you'll be doing again upper body. And then on Friday, you'll be doing again lower body. That split will allow you to train each muscle group twice per week and to isolate better than a full body split because you'll have a day for an upper body workout and then a day for a lower body workout. You'll have a rest day and then again upper body and lower body. Every single muscle group twice a week but with better isolation. What if you can go five times a week? If you can go five times a week, the best workout split for you will be the legs push pull lower upper. That's the workout split that I'm following at the moment. Monday, legs, workout. Not that much explanation, training every single muscle group on your legs. Quads, hamstrings, glutes, calves. Push on a Thursday. Push basically means working every single muscle group that push the weight away from you. Being that the chest, the shoulders and the triceps. That's a push workout and you can do it on Thursday. On Wednesday you'll be doing a pull workout and that's a workout that you pull the weight for you like back and biceps. On Thursday you'll be doing a lower body workout and that's basically the exactly same concept as the legs Monday. Legs and lower body are basically the same concept. And on Friday you'll be doing an upper body workout. This allows you to train each muscle group twice a week and again have a better isolation on each day. What if you can train six times a week? If you can train six times a week, in my personal opinion, the best workout split for you would be a legs push pull, legs push pull. And you can either go legs push pull on Monday, Thursday and Wednesday and then again legs push pull on Thursday, Friday and Saturday or you can go legs push pull on Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday and then Thursday you have a rest day and then go legs push pull again on Friday, Saturday and Sunday. That's up to you. Again, it's what you can be consistent with. Don't go follow a push pull leg workout split and you can only go twice per week. Why? Because a legs push pull workout has three workouts per week and if you can only go twice per week, you either go legs, push and let the pull work out or you go, for example, push and pull and leave the leg workout out. It's not optimal. You should be focusing on a workout split where you can be consistent with. So, if you can only go twice per week, go for a full body workout. If you can go four times a week, go for an upper, lower, upper, lower. If you can go five times a week, go for a legs, push, pull, lower, upper. If you can go six times a week, go for a legs push pull, legs push pull. Choose a workout split that works for you. The best workout split for you is the one that you can be consistent with. Take me for an example. Right now I'm doing a legs push pull, lower upper bodies workout. But as soon as I go on a vacation, for example, I want to enjoy the most out of that vacation. So 
I would reduce my workout split for a 3 days per week. Will I be doing a leg push pull lower upper? No, I will probably change it to a full body workout 3 times per week. Why? Because I can eat every single muscle group 3 times per week. And that's optimal for muscle growth. I will still enjoy my vacation and take the most out of my workouts with only going three times per week. So as you can see there are no perfect workout split for everybody. Everybody is different and everybody has a different schedule. So you should be tailoring and adjusting your workout splits for you. So that's what we for today. I hope you all enjoyed this video and enjoy all of this content. If you did, don't forget to drop me a like. Also to consider subscribing so you don't miss my next video coming next week. Also comment down below what I should do next. As always, thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in the next one.